Hello everyone, if you have clicked on this video then um, you have gotten this problem. You went to install the latest NVIDIA driver and it downloaded, extracted to here, it extracted to a folder. Uh, right now I'm downloading the version 285 NVIDIA and when you run the setup or when it automatically runs the setup the first time it opens the installer NVIDIA Graphics Driver Installer and this is what happens it loads for a bit checking system compatibility and it just doesn't work it says NVIDIA Installer cannot continue this graphics driver could not find compatible graphics hardware so you want to find out how to fix this problem and this video is going to show you how to fix this problem and make sure that NVIDIA installs your latest driver. It's kind of complicated and hard but hopefully um, uh, you guys will be able to do it. I did this and I was able to install the latest driver finally and you guys need the latest uh, driver to play games like Battlefield 3 and Rage on your computer so hopefully you get it working. now. I'm taking no credit for finding out how to solve this issue, I'm just making it into a video. Uh, I'm giving credit to Capely, I'll put this link in the description if you guys don't want to listen to me and just follow these are the steps that we're going to do to make sure that your driver is installed. I happened to stumble upon this forum and thank God because he helped me find out how to fix this problem. So we're gonna follow his steps and hopefully sh in a video is easier but if you don't want to watch this video just I'll have the link uh, you can just follow the steps here so let's start steps one get your device control panel click on system click on device manager So as it says here, the reason for this error is that the specific ID for your graphics card does not show up on the setup file, so it does not find uh, your device ID, and so now we need to manually implement the ID into this installer, so it finds your ID and installs the driver. So what we do, why we went to control panel, uh, go to view, make it small icons, and go to system. What we have here is we're trying to find our device ID for our graphics card so it can find it. So we go to Control Panel System Device Manager, or you can go to Start and just type in Device Manager. It's right here, Device Manager. This will open up. And now what you have to do is go to Display Drivers, and I'll show your. Uh, graphics card, NVIDIA GeForce GT 230M. Uh, follow the instructions, you'll get the same thing I did. Now open it up, go to details, and go to device instance path. And this is your ID for your uh, driver. Here it says click on details, device instance ID should be selected. So if it shows device instance ID, then that's fine. Mine showed device instance path. Now what we have to do is remember this, um, uh, the details. So these just tell the system what my uh, graphics card is. So the VEN is a vendor, which is a vendor ID for NVIDIA. DEV is a chipset, which is GTX 460M for this guy. Mine, uh, as you can see, DEV 0DD1, mine's 0A2A. You guys will have different. So now what we have to do is um, go to the install directory, which is right here. When you when you download uh, the driver you want and you press extract, it's gonna show that box that's gonna extract, and it's gonna place it in a folder. Make sure you find where it is so you can manually set it up. It's gonna be located here. You can just follow this. It's going to be on computer, NVIDIA, display driver, and then whichever update you're trying to find, Windows, whatever yours is, international. Now go to display driver, and we have to edit one of these files to make sure it knows what our uh, ID is, our device ID is. So 
you can open any a couple of these just open up NVAM it's gonna have a bunch of code so this is where it gets complicated now we are going to implement our code it says scroll down until you see a section that looks like this so scroll down until you see this right here it's gonna say percent NVIDIA dev 0.405.1 all of these it's gonna be a huge paragraph so scroll to the top now what you're going to have to do is find which number which of these matches or is close to yours you have to make your own device ID and install it so this is what you have to do now I'm gonna give an example you have this window popped open it says everyone's the beginning for everyone's the same but yours says and dev 0a2a so you come to this paragraph and find underscore dev 0a2a it's not gonna be there so you find what's close so we're scrolling down we see 0a right we see 0a right here now scroll up now I found 0a2d right this line right here is 0a2d so that's close so that means and 0A28 so I know it's not here so I have to insert a new section here and now I have to create my own for 0A2A so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look over here and write this 0A2A so first start by pressing percent NVIDIA underscore dev make sure they're caps follow exactly what it says point zero a two a whatever yours is gonna be find what is nearest so for example if yours is zero six ec then you put it right there or whatever yours is to find it now here you're gonna have to implement a percent if you have anything similar to zero a two a i don't see it then you just put point zero one percent that means yours is like the only one similar to that. 0 0.082, 0 0.01%. If there's a number over here like 0821, that's your digit, then make it 0 0.01. So it's the same thing. So mine's 0A2A. This is not 0A2A, so it's 0 0.01. If this was 0A2A, like this for example, these are all 06F1. This is 0.1, this is 0.2, 0.3. So if this was, for example, 0A2A, then I would make mine 0A2A dot 01, I mean 02, right? But since it's not that, then I'm not going to, um, I'm not going to, I'm going to make it 0.1. So if, now once you're done with that, press enter, capital S, section, and copy whatever is whatever section you're on so it says 47 here 47 here so I'm gonna make it same section section 47 comma PCI then the same as under 10 D E it's the same for everybody in this part and dev underscore again put in 0 a 2 a or whatever yours is and subsys all caps underscore now there's a, this number is different for everyone you can find this number right here so it's 0828 and subsys 905 e 104 d so put this number in and subsys this number right here put it 905 e 104 d 905 d 905 e 104 d 104 d so now this is my line I created a new line to go over again you have to find which is most similar I found 0A2D so I go 0A2A it's obviously before it it's like alphabetical order 0 0.01 because no number before me had the same four numbers here if this was 0A2A I'd make it 0.02% section this whole part is the same and subsys and I put in my own number that I found right here now copy this the line you created because for me it didn't work out so I had to make this line again so I look uh, for some reason it didn't read that one so I have to look I think I placed it in the wrong place so 
I have to look again for something similar. So I scroll down here. I found another the same the same lines I found up there and so I'm going to put it here. Enter, put it again. I put this line in the middle because 0a28 0a2d mines obviously in between. And now it changed section 48 so I I'm going to change this section 48. Everything else stays the same though. So now I have two lines implemented and that's it for this first part. Now what you have to do is go to the last part, scroll down, until you find these. Here is where you have to implement what driver number you are. So again, go look for your 0A2. So I'm scrolling down. 0A2A. I already implemented this because mine, um, I implemented this before making the video. But this is what you're supposed to do. I'll erase it just to show. So again, I found where mine's supposed to fit in alphabetically, and you type in NVIDIA underscore dev all caps dot 0A2A dot 01 again equals, and then you make sure that there's um, quotes, quote open, NVIDIA, the same. Now pick which one you are. It says right here at the top of this GeForce GT 230M. So, so put G force gt 230m and then close quotes and that's it for this file nvam now close this and save so what we've implemented is two lines up there and one line right here 0a2a right here so close this now you're done with this there's one more file now we have to alter is we did all this we've done this we've done this now what we have to do is the last file is list devices text if you have it. So open up list devices. It's in the same folder. And go to where you which folder you open. Since we opened NVAM, go to NVAM. Look for NVAM. And it's right up here. Make sure you find it. So now you have NVAM since that's what we use. Now we have to find the number similar to ours by number I mean right here these numbers these four numbers so I'm going and I find 0a which is ours 3 so that means it has to be before it because 2 is before 3 up up and here I already implemented this again before we start but I'll do it again so I found 0a28 0a2d mine's obviously before what you have to do is dev underscore whatever yours is this time don't put point zero one, just that and subsys and again put in your number so your number is right here subsys 905e 104d so 905e 104d and then open quotes over here in video again select what version yours is gt 230m close quotes and that's it save this file now, as you saw in the beginning of the video, it didn't work for me. Now it's going to work. So I go to Setup. The same thing happened. This opened, and when it says Finding Compatibility, it did not find my device. But now that I altered the .in files, it's going to find mine. And any day now, open up. Ta-da! As you saw in the beginning of the video, it did not open to this where it will install, but now hopefully it opens for you. Press agree and continue and press express and install your driver that you so wanted to do. So hopefully this video helped you out. If I was a little, if it was hard following me, uh, I'll put this link in the description. Follow what he says. Um, yeah, there's always the pause button. You can pause YouTube and replay if you don't understand. Thanks for watching this video. If this helped you out, please subscribe to my channel or youtube.com slash thenifecircer instead of nicecircer because my backup channel, this channel might get deleted. Uh, if you really appreciate it, thanks. Um, I would appreciate it. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching everybody. See you guys later.